Hello everyone, Hellraiser here. As a lot of you know, I have a lot of game systems. Now the problem with having a lot of game systems is you have a lot of wires and you have a lot of game systems laying around cluttering up in front of your TV. So what I decided to do was take two systems and turn them into one system. Now some of you might be saying we already saw this system. Well you saw some of this. This is the Nintendo GameCube that I made and I, what I did is I put a Knight Rider LED mod in it also put a mod chip in that plays games off an SD card. So what you do is you put your games onto an SD card, you insert them in, and then you can play your games on your GameCube with your GameCube controllers. But what I decided to do was add a Nintendo 64 to it, as you see down here. What I did was I got one of these Game Boy players. And this went on the bottom of the GameCube and allowed you to play your Game Boy games on it. I completely gutted it, and then I put a Nintendo 64 into it. So what I had to do is I had to take the board out, I had to cut it down a lot smaller, I had to fold the cartridge slot up, I had to put an EverDrive 64 into it that plays games also off an SD card. I also had to take the four player ports and re-put re them in here. Um, I had to put a reset switch and that's to reset the Nintendo 64 but it's also so you can save games on the EverDrive and then you have a power light. Now on the side, I have a switch, and that's the switch between the GameCube and the Nintendo 64, because they both run off the same power, and they run off the same audio and video. So you only have two cords coming out the back. So let me show you a little bit of what it can do. First of all, you can plug in any of your GameCube controllers, or you can plug in your Nintendo 64 controllers. Now here I have a one that I like to use better, it's a little rare and hard to find, but it's the little Hori mini pad for the Nintendo 64. It's got a GameCube-like stick, and it's got smaller buttons. I just like it a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up, and then I'm going to pan back so you can see the TV and see kind of how it works. So basically, you turn the power on with the switch up. It's playing the GameCube. So let me back the camera up a little bit here for you. There you go. Now, with the GameCube, what you have to do is you have to hit a switch that resets the mod chip that's in it. You can start it up, and then you can choose from the games that you have on your SD card. So, we'll just go up real quick. You've got everyone seen these games. So, we'll go to the Super Mario Sunshine and load it up. There you go. That's basically what the GameCube part does. Now, if at any time you want to switch over and start playing Nintendo 64 games, all you have to do is flip your switch down, or you can turn it off first, which I like to do just to be safe. Flip the switch down, turn it back on, and you see the red light comes on down showing that the, that the system's starting up, and it starts up the EverDrive 64. And then you can pick a game from the list of there. And as as you see, I don't have a, the SD card where you can get to it because basically I put almost every single Nintendo 64 you know, United States game on there, US games. So we'll just pick one out. This just a old familiar Super Mario, just to show everyone how it works. And I like that the EverDrive 64 now loads games a lot faster. And there you go. Then you can play your Nintendo 64 games. So, that's basically it. You have a reset switch here so that you can reset. It also helps on the EverDrive to save games. Then it just starts the games back over. If at any time you want to be fancy, you can turn on the LED mod. And that's my Knight Rider LED mod. So, you can have an annoying light flashing back and forth while you're playing games. Well, that's basically it. It's just an interesting way I found to put two systems into one 
to combine them so that they have a lot less wires, a lot less hassle, and you can just carry that around with you if you want and have two systems in one, and you can have all the games you want loaded on the Nintendo 64 SD card, or you can have all the games you want loaded on the GameCube SD card and be able to play them anywhere you want to. Well, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, I hope I can show you some more portables or some more systems in the future.